Hi, and welcome to Carter's Classroom here on DKPittsburghSports.com. I'm your host, NFL analyst Chris Carter, and today we're going into the draft profile for linebacker Leighton Vander Esch. Now here at Carter's Classroom, we've been getting you ready for the NFL Draft for a few weeks now here at DKPittsburghSports.com, talking about players the Pittsburgh Steelers should consider in the draft and probably will consider. We've already gone over Sean Evans as an inside linebacker from Alabama. This week, we're going over another linebacker, this time Leighton Van Der Esch, the junior linebacker out of Boise State. Now, Leighton Van Der Esch was a, is, a, is a big linebacker. He's tall, he's lengthy, he's six foot four, packs a wallop at 256 pounds. But what really stood him out, he was the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year for his conference, had over 140. 40 tackles in his junior year at Boise State. Although he only started one season, he was extremely impactful and made several clutch plays that helped Boise State win in several situations throughout the season. We, go, we look at his combine performance, and we saw he was, re, he was tested very well for his size. Though he didn't have a great 40-yard time with a 4.65, and he ranked 11th among all linebackers, he, had a, he came in second in both the 20-yard and 60-yard shuttles because he excels at exploding and changing directions and shows fluid hip movement, which we'll get into in a bit and how that works into his game. One of the things that I love about Leighton Van Der Esch and how he's able to move and also stick to his fundamentals in space. One, you're going to see this upcoming play. He had to deal with an option by himself, which is very difficult to do. And you'll see he's, he's this middle linebacker here. He flies out to space because he sees the option coming. The option is usually the quarterback. And in the pros, you won't see this as much. But sometimes and in college, this displays how fundamental and how good a player is, is, is when, they're, when they make a sound play like this. Now, he's all alone on here. Everybody on his team, they're blocked on, the, on this sideline. They're accounted for. So he has to cover basically two guys against the run. Your job as a linebacker is to force the pitch man to get the ball to the running back. Not only does he, does he do that, but then he makes the tackle just as you see here. So here you see he's lined up in the middle of the field. You, you run, run the clip. You see he's, he's breaking to the sideline with the ball. Look at how well this play is drawn up. They have, the, they have him on an island. That's exactly what the opponent wanted to do here. He has to choose, do I get the quarterback or do I get the pitch man? Now, the quarterback is the guy that's holding the ball. As your job as a, as, as a person that's the only one out there, you have to force that pitch to happen. Not only does he get up in the, in the, in the person's way, he, does, he commits to say, look, you're not coming through me. And he forces that pitch. But as soon as the pitch happens, he pinches to the sideline, pushes the man out, and minimizes a gain on a play, which, which Boise State was out of position. These are things that Leighton Van Der Esch does extremely well. When he's, when he's tackling the ball carrier and he's getting out in space, he's finding where someone is, not afraid to, to spread out, get into a solid position, and make a fundamental tackle. Now, one thing that we want to continue emphasizing is how well Leighton Van Der Esch tackles. He does deliver big hits, but he doesn't sell out with his big hits. He usually has his head up, looking to make the, make the play, leading with his shoulder into the tackle. And you're going to see that on so many plays throughout the season. When I looked at his tape, when Boise State needed a big play on defense, it was Leighton Van Der Esch coming up with it. And here he, uh, he is against Colorado State. It's overtime. They need to find a way to stop them, and they get a crucial turnover here from Leighton Van Der Esch. The, what, what happened is Colorado State's going to run their man into his gap, you're going to see Leighton Van Der Esch, he's going to have to navigate his way through a lot of traffic. The offense is trying to, is trying to pinch down on him. But not only does, does he get in position, as you see with, with the far out clip, but look at, you're going to see how he makes this tackle. So here you see, right lined up in the middle of the field, Leighton Van Der Esch, number 38, play, playing big there. It's a goal line situation. They're in the red zone, and Colorado State trying to punch it in. Here comes the running back right in the middle of the field. Look at the traffic that Leighton Van Der Esch navigates through. He's pushing his way through. He's making sure he stays in his gap. And that's something that he does extremely well. But what we're really going to show you is you see the tackle here from far back. We're going to show you a close-up of how this tackle is made. Roll this part of the clip. You're going to see the running back coming into the hole. Freeze it right here. You see, look at the position of Leighton Van Der Esch. He's in perfect, a perfect stance to make this play. His shoulder level is below the running backs. His head is up. His arms are spread. And not only that, but then he accepts accelerates into the running back with his arms right on the ball, knocking it loose. Boise State recovers, and they win instantly because it's overtime and they had a, they had a lead. These are the kind of plays that Leighton Van Der Esch made time and time again for the season. He goes for the ball, but he does not sell out in doing so. This is another reason why we think Leighton Van Der Esch is going to be a high grab in the late first round to early second rounds of this NFL draft. 
Now, of course, every player has their weaknesses. And for Leighton Van Der Esch, despite his great size of a 6'4", 256 linebacker in the middle of the field, he has a problem taking on blockers. And what you'll often see happen to him, he takes on lead blockers like he tackles ball carriers, which is not how you want to do. He doesn't want, you don't want to lead with your shoulder into a blocker. You want to use that 6'4 frame, those long arms that he's going to have. Get, use them, create an extension so that you can keep them off your frame and that you can shed them and get to the ball carrier. And we're going to show you an instance where that did not work out for him. It led to a touchdown for Josh Allen's Wyoming in a, in a play here. What's going to happen is the guard's going to pull to trap Leighton Van Der Esch. He's going to come up into the hole. He reads where the play is going, but watch how he's going to lead his shoulder into this guy, and he becomes completely swallowed up and allows for, for, for the big run that gets them almost to a touchdown. So here you see Leighton Van Der Esch lined up on the left side of the, of the defense right here. Roll the clip, and you're going to see here comes that pulling guard. He's, he's coming in. Leighton Van Der Esch, he recognizes the play. He's, he's in his gap. He knows what he has to do. He can't oversell himself and just jump in because he has to read where the play is going. Um, but here's what happens. Watch how the guard approaches and look what he does. He charges with his shoulder and when the, that happens, the guard's like, thank you very much. That's exactly what he wanted. Now he can, can he can trap Leighton Van Der Esch, sort of keep him out of the hole and that allows the, the runner to get up the middle of the field and get closer to the end zone when Leighton Van Der Esch, if he, keep, if he gets that extension, if he hits him with a punch into the, shoulder, into the shoulder pads, there's a chance that he not only keeps the linebacker there, or the lineman there, but he's able to clog the hole and maybe even make a play on the ball carrier. Now, of course, what everyone's wondering about, okay, we hear all this stuff about Leighton Van Der Esch and how he attacks the ball carrier, but what about his coverage? Well, this is something that Leighton Van Der Esch, especially for his size, excels at. Because playing in the middle of the field, you need a guy that's going to be able to drop back, turn his hips, stay in, stay in position, and not lose himself and be uncomfortable in doing that. And that's something that, that he's very comfortable in doing. We're going to show you an interception he had earlier this season, and it's going to be a play where he's going to be lined up here, looking like he's going to blitz. What's going to happen is the tight end is over here he's gonna he's gonna be faking the blitz the tight end's gonna run run sort of an in route not a great route or anything but you want, i want you to focus on how he turns when he when he, he when he fakes the blitz he, he sort of back pedals turns and runs with the tight end staying underneath the route and making this interception right here so here you see Leighton Van Der Esch lining the field. It's late in the game. He's tr they're trying to close the game out. They get a turnover. It pretty much locks up the victory for Boise State. So here, lined up late fourth quarter. See he's in the middle of the field. He's, he's looking like he's going to blitz. The quarterback has to consider what is he going to do. The offensive line's forced to communicate. But at the snap of the ball, he's dropping back. He's in coverage. And now the, the quarterback has to think, can my tight end beat this guy who's not even looking at my tight end, and es essentially? He's backing up. He's in a back pedal. So I think that my guy can get there. So look at Leighton Van Der Esch. Look at how smooth his back pedal turns into turning to finding the tight end, locating him, and then turning and running with him and being right in position for this pass that he intercepts. It's perfectly run. That's exactly what you want your inside linebacker to do. And it's very rare to find a player of that size that can turn and run and be as quick and agile. And that's where his good three cone time and shuttle times show up on the football field. These are a lot of attributes we're throwing at you about Leighton Van Der Esch. This junior linebacker, he's huge, he's quick, he's able to explode off the ball, and he's able to cover and be smart with how he plays football. Of course, that kind of a player is going to be highly coveted. Now, because of the other players like the Tremaine Edmonds, the Roquan Smiths, and we've gone over Rashawn Evans, he's not going to be the first pick in, you know, of, of this inside linebacker group. But you can rest assured that he's going to be on people's boards if those three, especially if Evans... Uh, Smith and Edmonds all drop off your board in the first 15 to 20 pitch, which we expect that they will. Um, you're going to see him float around there, and he's going to be a guy, can the Steelers afford to get at 28? If he goes before, there's a lot of teams that need linebackers, the Steelers may lose their shot at him. But he's a good candidate, especially for even 3-4 or 4-3 defenses. He could play inside linebacker. He can play the weak side 4-3 linebacker. He does a lot of things really right, and his main problems are very coachable and things that can be fixed. But for this reason, we're saying Link Van Der Esch is a serious target the Steelers will be considering in the late part of the first round if he's available. Stay tuned with us here at Carter's Classroom at DKPittsburghSports.com as we continue to cover the NFL draft and get you ready for the upcoming NFL season. We've also been doing a lot of coverage of free agency with the new signings of Morgan Burnett and John Bostic for the Pittsburgh Steelers. We'll be doing a lot more as this season rolls along and we'll have a lot more draft profiles coming your way. From Chris Carter here at Carter's Classroom here on DKPittsburghSports.com. Class dismissed.